Well, every Saturday during the school year, Adventure Crew takes more than 100 city teens from local schools on outdoor adventures. But with gatherings suspended and schools closed, those group adventures have been put on hold. But Adventure Crew is adapting to keep those kids exploring. Joining us now via Skype is Executive Director Kirsten McDougall. Kirsten, how are you? I'm good to make it. Thank you. How that is you? a lovely background. Where are you? Well, we would be here. <laughs> we would be kayaking this month. So Aww. I feel like I'm there this way. <laughs> I know. So so I know you guys do so many great things, getting kids outdoors, keeping them active. Uh, this probably has really kind of thrown a wrench in everybody's plans, but you guys are kind of keeping things positive and, and trying to move forward. So what kinds of thing you got, things do you have planned? Absolutely, Tamika. So we didn't want to let these kids down. They desperately need um, to be part of our crew, not only be able to get outdoors but to be feeling part of something so it only took us a couple of weeks and we have already run um, consistently every single saturday still with our adventure in place so reaching out to over a thousand kids at 24 schools throughout uh, cincinnati and northern kentucky we are doing adventure in place so whether it's from your porch or your city sidewalks. We did a city bingo. We are recently did an I Spy crew version. Uh, we do dance versions, all kinds of exciting opportunities for the kids to still connect, um, even though we can't get them physically out in nature right now. And then when they do respond to us on our social media platforms, Instagram or Facebook, or they just reach out to us, Tamika, we are um, delivering within social safe distancing crew care packages so that uh, they get a bunch of nature goodies like a nature journal and they can continue to feel the presence of nature which um let's face it we all i've never seen our park so crowded right <laughs> so we all need this mental and physical respite um, and it's critically important we consider these kids who they just do not have the same opportunity or access as their suburban peers. I was going to ask you about that, how important it is for kids, you know, especially young kids, to be able to still continue to have these opportunities. And what have you seen in terms of morale? Uh, morale among our kids is is energetic when we get to their um, when we get to their houses with the crew care package delivery, first, they're just delighted that we are reaching out in this way. Uh, they feel like we do. They're, they're anxious and they're um, concerned about the future, the future of school for them. Um, but they know that we're still there with them. And I will stress that nature being that opportunity for um, a healthy mindset. These kids, Tamika, are gonna need us more than ever um, when we do return because we already know um, anxiety and depression was on the rise with Absolutely. teenagers, so let's take a gauge now. My goodness, they're going to need us. All right, and really so, quickly, Kirsten, I got about five seconds. Where can people go to get information if they want to get involved? So go to adventurecrew.org, find us. Um, also on Facebook or social media, you can discover us there and also take part in Adventure in Place with us. Wonderful. I will do so. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. <laughs>